One, two. All right, who is the wise guy to open the door? There's a nifty scene in Job Interview where a Combine soldier pushes past a player and kicks open a door. A fellow modder asked me how that was done. And since my next Lua tutorial is taking way longer than I hoped, I figured I'd quickly show you how to make a Combine soldier kick down a door. Now there are probably a few ways you could do this, but I'll use scripted sequences and simple triggers. We'll start with an earlier map from the keycard video linked above. I just removed the reader itself. I'm going to place a scripted sequence right in front of the door facing the door so a tapered edge is going to face towards the door. And this is what's going to control the Combine Soldier's animation. We'll set the Combine Soldier name to Barney so I can refer to him from the sequence. And then we'll head back to the scripted sequence, set the target NPC to Barney so it controls the Combine Soldier, and we'll just give it a name, Kick Script. If you're not familiar with scripted sequences, you can check out some of my earlier videos. But basically, they let you set a series of animations one after the other. So entry animation, action animation, post action animation, and so on. I'm setting the Combine Soldier the first signal advance, then do a melee attack on the door, followed by a take cover. And that's just to make sure I can tell the animations are working. I'm going to use a simple trigger volume so when the player walks through, it's going to trigger the sequence to start. Once you've created your volume, right click on it, select object properties, and make it into a trigger multiple. Add an output to the trigger with on trigger as the output name. A target entity is going to be kick script and a method it's going to call is begin sequence. That's going to make sure that when the player passes into that trigger volume, it's going to trigger the scripted sequence. Now let's double check to make sure the trigger works. The combine soldier walks up to the scripted sequence volume, does the melee attack animation, which is a kick in this case, and then signals to take cover. So it looks like everything's working. Next, we have to get the door to open. A quick and easy way to do it would be to add another output to the trigger with the on trigger as the output name, the door A as a target entity name, and that door there is actually named the door A. And then I'll have it trigger the input open. However, I know the combine soldier has to make his way to the door, so I can't open the door right when he hits the trigger. I'm going to add a delay of a few seconds and try and time it correctly so that when the Combine Soldier kicks, the door will open. I'll start with 5 seconds. Now I figured it was just a matter of setting the right delay to get the kick to land as the door opens. However, the problem with triggering at the same time as a scripted sequence is you can't be sure how long it'll take for the Combine to make the way over to the door. So even if you get the right delay once, the next time it might be half a second later if the combine paths around an obstacle. Also, I was using the melee attack action, which according to the animation graph will randomly choose one of the combine's melee attacks available. So I changed that to just the kick all animation, and that's going to help with timing and positioning since it's going to be a kick every time. Finally, I removed the pre-action animation to simplify things. Instead of triggering the door open from the same trigger that triggers the scripted sequence, I'm going to put a trigger entity right in front of the door, just like we did with the keycard reader in a previous video. So when the combine soldier touches that trigger, the door should open, and hopefully I can time it to exactly when the kick hits the door. You can play around a bit with the positioning of this trigger to see if you can get it in the right spot so you don't have to add too much of a delay for the door open. I'm making this a trigger multiple, but really you could just make it a trigger once, since you're only going to open the door once. Given that I want an NPC to activate this trigger, I have to go into the spawn flags and remove clients and add NPCs. I'm also going to add physical objects, but you really shouldn't have to add that. Next we'll head over to the output section and add an output for on start touch with a target entity of the door via the input open. If you've been following along so far, go back to the first trigger we made and remove the open door output. With everything wired up correctly, now it's just a matter of trial and error, moving the scripted sequence, moving the trigger, and trying to line it up and time it right so that when the kick goes off, the door opens. I ended up adding a one second delay on the trigger for the door open just to make it line up nicely with that kick. It might not seem like much, but those little details can really add to the immersion. And now I give you the door kick.
You can add a couple of other minor details like changing the speed the door opens. There's a setting and I set mine to about 300 so it really looks like the door opens with some force. The other thing I did is add a second scripted sequence that launches after the first scripted sequence so that when the door gets kicked open, the combine soldier kind of cringes to the side. I wanted him to dive out of the way of the door, but I couldn't find a matching animation for that. So I started with just a little dive to see if it could work. And then I'm gonna look into trying to make it into a bigger dive. Also, don't forget when you're testing to set up your AI relationships to make sure the combine soldier doesn't just start shooting you as soon as you try and run a test. Thank you so much for watching. And if you ever see something in a custom map and you're wondering how it was done, don't hesitate to ask and I can try and see if I can figure it out for you. If you're subscribed already, thank you for subscribing. If not, consider subscribing because I love making these videos and I want to make more. My next video is going to be a pretty complicated Lua video. I've been working on it for the last week and I'm just getting the final details ready for that video to publish. So it should be out this week. Until next time, good luck with your Half-Life Alex modding.